Hi everyone and welcome back to this new video. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to make this beautiful slide to unlock button. Let's begin. So let's go and download our exercise file and open it in Figma. And once you open it, let's go to assets. And here we have a screen for our homepage app. And we have an animation as an asset. But let's go create a new page. And let's pick iPhone frame. And let's change its color to a light gray. Now, and let's go to assets and pick our image. All right, and let's add some circles here to add some colors of screen. You can add whatever you want here. It's just to create some motion and our design. Let's move this to the top. Just like that. Change this to again and this. Let's move this here. And we're gonna create our slide bottom here. So let's pick a new frame. Let's add a white field and also 50 border radius. All right, let's make this even more gray so we can see our bottom. All right, let's pick the text tool, let's add center slide to unlock the size will be 16 bold let's center all right like that now let's pick another frame And let's give it the same height and width for border radius to make it circular. And let's give it a gradient color. This will be something like that with a blue more bright, bright glowy uh, gradient. Now let's go to plugins, iconify, and let's pick narrow bright. Let me give me something. No, this one. I'll pick this one. Right, and let's drop it inside our button. Let's change it to white. Also, let's go back. Let's pick the check icon. Let's pick the first one. Also, change it to. Let's change it to green. All right, and move it down until it disappears. All right, and make sure it is inside my button. This is the slide, all right. Maybe let's move this. Let's 
bit to the right. Let's go and maybe add at two point eighteen seventeen. All right. Now let's duplicate the screen. Command C, Command V, and for here, sorry, remove that. And I forget. Let's duplicate this. Move it to the bottom, and let's type in cool. All right. Let's change its color to white, and hide it. Now you can duplicate Command C and Command V. Let's this scale it up. So once we slide, we can create a movement here. Now this movement will be effective once we slide our bottom. So move here to the right for this let's move this to the top and let's bring back a cool and center let's change this slide button with the same linear background so copy and paste here and for this, let's remove and add a white color. And let's move up my icon until it disappears. And the check icon, move it to the center, from the bottom to the center. All right. So there you go. Now let's add our home screen. Command C and Command V. Maybe let's add this logo. Make it look cool. All right. Command C and Command. There you go, so this is the first screen, on drag this button or on slide, if you go to that screen then we automatically show the home page. Alright, let's go to a prototype and let's select this and connect it with the second screen, on drag, gentle, alright, also for this on drag and go back to the first screen then from that screen to the home page let's after delay and make it to zero and smart animate jump all right let's see Let's say it on flow. Here we go. If we click and drag, as you can see, things are moving. If we go back, and if I let go, we go to the home screen. All right. So let's try it again. Move to the right all to the left and then let's go to the home all right that was a really cool effect to learn for today's video thank you so much and don't forget to like and subscribe in this channel to see new videos coming thank you and i will see you in another video